Welcome to Wonderland Weekly, hosted by Toronto Tai. Now sit back and have a wonderful week. Hey everyone, Toronto Tai back here at Canada's Wonderland once again for another amazing day. I am really, really excited because tonight we have fireworks. Oh my goodness, you know how much I love the fireworks here at Canada's Wonderland. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be here for those and uh, yeah. We also, I just wanted to uh, take a moment to appreciate the floral flag here at the top of International Street because chances are by next weekend it will be gone for the year, replaced by the Halloween Haunt and Camp Spooky display. I haven't really mentioned Camp Spooky, but I, I am excited for both events. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it seems like there's going to be some new stuff at both, uh, which is very, very cool. And, uh, but yeah going to be checking out uh, all the progress on Lazy Bear Lodge, of course, uh, and also just anything else that uh, happens to stand out to me. Let's get right to it. Over here in front of Lazy Bear Lodge, then, uh, yeah, remember how last week when I was like, oh, it looks like they still need to, uh, you know, install a couple of lights out here? Well, the park has done just that, so very, very cool. Oh, and they've got the little bit of flickering effect to them. Very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I really, really like those. I think those are very, very nice. Uh, yeah, and also the sign is uh, almost, almost there. Uh, <laughs> it is looking very, very good with all the, uh, all the stonework all the way up. I like that, uh, yeah, sort of tiered top out there. Um, and uh, yeah. Overall, that's looking great. Also, Cookie Cafe, uh, they have added windows to the front here with, uh, yeah, some brown trim uh, compared to the other locations which have white. So yeah, I really like that. That, that looks very, very nice. Um, but yeah, overall, not, not a ton of changes here as expected. But we do have a water truck here. I don't know if that means anything. I mean, obviously it means something, but I don't, I don't know what that means. They've got a dumpster back there. I, who knows? Maybe we will be eating in here next week? Maybe? Over here on the Timberwolf Falls exit ramp once again, then uh, yeah, just looking in at those tables that I definitely didn't notice until after I had filmed <laughs> the video. Uh, but yes, there are tables uh, which appear to be stacked on top of each other uh, there on the lower level. Very, very cool. And uh, yeah, there were uh, chairs. Yeah, I, th I think there are still chairs up there. It is a little difficult for me to see uh, through my camera. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, but yeah, hopefully you can uh, all see uh, if, if there is anything. Uh, <laughs> other than that, um, yeah, the, no, no, no progress on that lower patio. So uh we'll see what happens by next week <laughs> i decided to once again uh, pop over here to uh check out the uh the potential site of snoopy's racing railway here at the entrance to dinosaurs alive i mean i don't know there are there are a lot of like orange flags and yellow flags and uh, i mean not a lot but there are a few um so yeah i don't i don't know it does make sense from that standpoint but it doesn't make a lot of sense logistically to me um, with, uh, it, it, there's, there's a transformer behind this fence right here, like a giant electrical box. Uh, and there's also the washroom right here. So if the, uh, if the coaster comes close to here, which based on my measurements it would have to, then um, uh, assuming that it has the same layout as Friedelin's, I, I, I just don't think that that's really the most likely location, but I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and see um, because yeah, the the flags and markers really do. Uh, I don't know. That's that's the only thing that gives me pause with saying that uh, you know it's not going to that other location. I hate doing peeks over the fence, but uh, yeah, it looks like they have a uh, an employee uh, uh, snack area back here called Snoopy Snacks. So that's very very cute. Uh, but I did just want to point out that there are yellow flags on this hill, so it's not like this area is completely devoid of activity. It's... It, it, there's still potential here. Over here at Allswell Hall, just trying out the turkey 
meatloaf. Uh, it is very, very good. I, uh, yeah, I really like this. Uh, and I love the variety that this, uh, that this provides to the menu. Over here at the Mountain Refresh exit next to uh, Vortex's first drop, just looking in the window here uh, at, uh, I believe this is next to uh, the pavement area. So the pavement area is that room right there. And so then this will be like the, the hallway leading to it slash the serving area, I think, maybe. We'll see. But anyway, there's a bear in here, which is so cute and adorable. That's gonna be great walking toward that. Uh, and there's also another one up there. I can't get a great look at it. I tried, uh, yeah, shifting my position and everything. And yeah, I can't, cannot get a good look at that one. But it does appear to be a second one up there. So very, very cool to see those two bears in there. And uh, yeah, plenty more to spot once Lazy Bear Lodge opens. A couple notes here as uh, it starts to get dark out. First of all, Lazy Bear Lodge looks amazing at night. It looks so nice. Uh, but second of all, uh, they are doing stuff inside. Uh, so yeah, that is very, very cool. Again, I believe this will be the uh, the bar. Oh, look. Oh, look. It's the sign for a washroom. Interesting. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still pretty confused about the, uh, the layout of everything, but... <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a, a better hang of things. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely interesting to see that they are working late on a Sunday night, a holiday Sunday night, uh, to uh, get things uh, ready for us. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I, I really do appreciate it so, so much. Oh my goodness, I mean, really. Lazy Bear Lodge is barrels of fun. All right, everyone. They have opened up the patio here next to Lazy Bear Lodge. Absolutely love the mural. This looks fantastic. Now that I can actually, you know, see it all lit up. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, very nice planter here. Really, really like that. Um, still not sure what that area is going to be <laughs> under the little overhang, but we can get a look inside. Okay, so looking inside Lazy Bear Lodge, uh, I do see a washroom sign right here. So that was kind of what I was thinking at one point, uh, that the washroom would be here. Uh, and I guess the bar is uh, just on the other side of the washrooms there. So yeah, that is uh, very, very interesting. Uh, it, there's, there is actually a fairly large open space here. Uh, I got kind of worried when I started seeing all the uh, <laughs> serving area being so large, but uh, oh my goodness, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, it, it looks so nice in there. Uh, <laughs> and I do like how much space there is up on this uh, top level. Of course, we're still going to have to see how much space is on the lower level. Uh, yeah, I kind of expected to see a little bit more up this way, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll have to uh, walk around a little bit and get a different look. Um, but oh my goodness, this is, this is looking so good. Uh, this is the odd thing to me. This railing goes across here, and yeah, I did not, I really didn't expect it to extend past, like, where the actual balcony is, so uh, I'm not sure exactly why they, uh, they did that, but uh, I guess it does help control crowd flow on the balcony, because that, that could get very crowded very quickly. Um, and uh, yeah, those, uh, yeah, so any, uh, anyway, it's just, it is looking fantastic I am and of course you do have the fireplace here oh my goodness I can see the menu from here beef brisket barbecue chicken fish of the day bruschetta, and uh, yeah hand breaded chicken tenders of course and an impossible stuffed pepper cornbread jalapeno uh, pit smoked mac and cheese birch butter corn on the cob potato wedge creamy coleslaw oh my goodness this, this menu is looking absolutely amazing. I am so excited for this to open. And uh, yeah, just oh, fantastic. Please, please open as soon as possible. Um, oh wait, my meal plan ends today. No! <laughs>
getting a low angle here, then you can see uh, the canoe that I had uh, uh, seen a little bit of previously, and that is actually uh, one of the light fixtures by the looks of things. Uh, and you do have a bear right back there, looking very cute. And then another bear, looking very cute right here. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. I love this. Okay, there's the staircase to the lower level, and right next to it is another bear. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm experiencing, definitely experiencing a cuteness overload here. Uh, yeah, not quite sure what is back there. I think, I don't, I don't know if that's just access to the kitchen. Probably, probably that's all it is. But anyway, uh, yeah, seems like, you know, maybe this will be like the payment area the second payment area that is uh, and then you can pick up your drink and then head out to go down to the lower level or over this way to the large open space oh, I I have an understanding of what this uh, <laughs> layout is now it's taken a while but, uh, but yeah I finally sort of understand and uh, yeah you do have uh, yeah another canoe right there uh, looking very nice and uh, yes I do apologize but uh, you know looking through windows can be can be a little challenging uh, <laughs> with a camera so um, uh, but yeah no this is this is looking absolutely fantastic I love this love this so much maybe I never saw chairs maybe it was all just tables <laughs> but regardless uh, yeah that is uh, good to see that progress uh, obviously, we do still have uh, a little ways to go. There's still some scaffolding in there, uh, and the tables are obviously not set up yet. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, it's, I, I, I don't know how far away we are, but I do think that we are getting uh, quite close. And I am just so very, very excited to, uh, to get my first meal in here. Oh my goodness, I'm scared for this bear. <laughs> Hanging onto the rafter like that, I love it. It is so absolutely adorable. And uh, yeah, I love the lanterns. It's, oh, everything about this location uh, is truly just fantastic. Except for the fact that it's not album themed, of course, but that's just me. All right, everyone, I am filming this early, but it is getting close to the end of the video, and you all know what that means. It is time for trivia time. Yes, and so for this week's trivia time, I want you to uh, let me know in the comments below. Swan Lake, right here. Uh, it's such an amazing attraction, honestly. Uh, it, it, you, you don't see many of these at, uh, <laughs> at parks, but uh, I want you to let me know what was the name of Swan Lake when the park first opened all the way back in 1981? If you can let me know that, I will give you a shout out in my next video. And a huge shout out to SMG for correctly stating that the three areas of uh, the Happy Land of Hanna-Barbera, or Hanna-Barbera Land if you prefer, uh, then they were Yogi's Woods, which was uh, all of Kidsville back there, uh, and it's still quite wooded, which I appreciate. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, then you have uh, this main section here was Scoobyville, and you can even see that the, uh, the lampposts were kind of designed with that sort of style in mind. Uh, the, these lampposts were only used in this specific section of the kids park um and then right up that pathway then you had uh bedrock which was fantastic all themed to the flintstones uh before it became uh, nickelodeon central back in 2003 um and uh but yeah so very very cool i loved that the park uh, i mean i really loved that the park had three distinct sections of uh, of the kids park and uh, I, I would love to see that uh, you know return one day maybe maybe I, I, I think there's definitely room for it so <laughs> we'll have to see what happens but uh, yeah in the meantime do let me know what was Swan Lake known as back in 1981 well, that'll about do it for this week here at Canada's Wonderland. It was another absolutely amazing day. Oh my goodness. The Labor Day fireworks here tonight uh, were 
I I think they were the best ones of this whole year. Uh, and uh, yeah, that, that was just really, really, really fantastic. The playlist uh, was <laughs> chock full of uh, Elton John, which is always a fun time. Uh, and yeah, it really did get like, you know, guests of all ages were, were having fun. And uh, even after the show was over, like I saw, you know, people just like, Jamming, jamming to the uh, uh, to, to the music that <laughs> that plays afterward, and oh my goodness, the thunderous, thunderous uh, applause after it was just oh, oh, I love it, I love it so much. It 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 just makes me so happy to uh, uh, to know that so many people are <laughs> are getting such a great experience out of the day. Uh, yeah, it's it's really really fantastic. Um, so yes, and I was directed out this way as the fastest way, so uh, out of the park. Um, uh, yeah, which is uh, kind of interesting. I, I appreciate that they're uh, uh, you know directing people and uh, yeah trying to manage the crowd levels. Uh, <laughs> uh, tonight was not as busy as some other nights have been, uh, some other fireworks nights that is, but um, uh, but still I. I, I, I still feel like the uh, the crowds <laughs> that the fireworks draw it is Honestly, it is unparalleled. It is just oh my goodness. There's there's nothing that can <laughs> compare to a fireworks crowd. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, this was really 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 fantastic. Uh, so yes, Lazy Bear Lodge coming along very nicely. Loved getting to see. Uh, you know, an even closer look inside the lodge. Uh, oh my goodness, it is. I mean, they've, they've got the menu up. <laughs> they've got the menu already programmed into the TVs there, so uh, yeah, we, we, we must be getting close, right? Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, I am so, so looking forward to that. Uh, but uh, yeah, next week is Oktoberfest. Fun times ahead. Uh, and the week after that is Roller Coasters, eh? Uh, the American Coaster Enthusiast event, uh, annual event here at the park, and I will be there. Uh, and yeah, it's just, oh my goodness, so much exciting stuff coming up, because the week after that is Haunt, and I love Haunt, and Camp Spooky, of course. Can't forget about Camp Spooky. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be checking out all of that stuff, but oh, I just had such a great night. So, <laughs> I think that'll about do it. So until next time, as always, have a good one! Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.